Hey, and welcome to the final video of our three-part series on calligraphy basic techniques. So if you haven't watched the first two videos in this series, make sure you go ahead and do so before you dive into this one because you have to know those techniques and have practiced those techniques before moving on to this one. All right, so do that. Also linked below is my free modern calligraphy ebook guide for you to download print out, trace, and follow along with me. This thing is packed full of goodness. I used to take this with me to all my calligraphy workshops. It's golden. So print it out and get going. This is an older version. The one that you have in the link below is the updated version. So no sweat. All right, so we're gonna get started with part three now. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to open up my uh, modern calligraphy book, which is an ebook for you if you download it. Make sure you download it. <laughs> um, to page four, where it says basic shapes. It's going to look different for you. Like I said, this is the old version. Old version. You have the new version. All right. So we're going to, this final video, this final technique that I'm going to show you, um, we're going to cover curves. We're going to cover what's called thresholds. Thresholds are basically the point where a thin and a thick stroke meet each other. So where you're either going into adding pressure and getting thick or vice versa. You're coming out of a thick stroke and getting thin, releasing pressure. So curved strokes or thresholds are um, kind of tricky. So if you're first starting out and you're new to calligraphy, don't get too discouraged. Make sure you have a snack or a beverage, an adult beverage maybe, if you're an adult, close by so you can take a little breather, sip some wine or water or whatever it might be and carry on. This thing takes practice. You gotta develop your muscle memory before you can get this good. And calligraphy, pointed pen calligraphy specifically, requires a really precise um, technique. So you gotta make sure you watch part parts one and two of this series before you get here. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to grab a sheet of my layout bond paper, which is over here, which is semi-transparent so I can trace. Wonderful stuff, great news. All right, and if you don't know what layout bond paper is, make sure you go check out my supplies video where I talk all about the calligraphy supplies that I use linked in the description below. So. I've got my layout bond paper, sheet of paper on top of the guide so I can see through it and trace. What we're gonna start with though are called ascending U-shapes. So this, this is an ascending threshold. And this ascending U-shape or threshold is what makes up a lot of letter forms. You're gonna use this stroke in N's and M's, in the face of P's and B's etc. So any motion that goes up and then curves down on the right is going to be an ascending U-shape or an ascending threshold. So it is really important that you practice, practice, practice this a lot. Um, so you really get used to that technique of going from a thin, no pressure at all stroke to gradually adding pressure and releasing it. So really important stuff here. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to grab some ink and if I pull my sheet of paper here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting on the left at the baseline here and in the guide you can see the arrow and you're just following the arrow. So I'm going all the way up to the, to the A center and then right at about one o'clock I'm gradually working into pressure. So I'm not immediately applying all the pressure that I possibly can onto this downstroke. I'm just kind of gradually working into it um, but making sure that it starts pretty soon so it's not skinny down, you know, all the way through this downstroke. Downstrokes are meant to be thick. So I'm gonna put my sheet of paper back on top of it, grab some ink, and I'm gonna start with this upstroke. And because it's an upstroke, I am applying little to no pressure. And then right as I start to curve down, we're gradually adding pressure and re releasing. Had tons of ink on this one, so make sure you don't have tons of ink. So we're gonna go up, super light, Gradually add pressure and release. Much better. 
And make sure your fingers aren't doing all the moving here, but you're guiding it up with your forearm. And we're gonna finish out this entire row. As you're working through all of these ascending U shapes, you wanna look out for consistency. This is what's going to help you separate yourself from a new calligrapher to, or a beginner calligrapher, to a more intermediate or advanced calligrapher is if you have a consistent width in all your downstrokes, um, a consistent angle for all your up and down strokes, and a consistent width between your threshold. So this is the threshold right here. So if some of the thresholds in your letters are really narrow like that and some are really wide, that's gonna look really inconsistent and look more beginner level. But if they're more consistent, then it'll look cleaner and more intentional. So practice this a few times. This is the easier threshold of the two. We're gonna do a descending threshold next and that one gets a little bit trickier for beginners. So practice this a few more times, making sure you're going up the paper with your forearm instead of flicking it up with your fingers like this. And again, do about three or four rows of these. And because I'm doing thicker strokes, so the, these down strokes, I'll probably need to dip my pen every three or four down strokes, depending on how much pressure you apply on the down stroke itself. Um, a lot of beginners are really, really delicate with their downstrokes and they won't get as thick as you can. These nibs are delicate, but in the same sense, they are very durable. So really put pressure on your nib and you'll be surprised at how thick these nibs can get your downstrokes. Because you're really just going for that contrast between thin and thick. So you don't want your downstrokes to look just slightly thicker than your upstrokes. And then once you finish out that row or a few rows of this ascending U shape, grab some more ink and we are going to talk about the descending U shape. All right, so moving on to the descending U shape. If you look at your guide, you'll notice that we're starting on the left again but we're starting with a downstroke first. So we're applying pressure, starting at the A sender, and then releasing that pressure right as we approach the baseline and then coming up for a thin stroke. So this one's a little bit trickier because a lot of beginners are rushing through um, that downstroke and into that gradual getting thin bowl area. And because they don't wait for their nib to close up and get thin before they bring their pen up, they're gonna scratch and um, cut the paper and spray ink everywhere. So you wanna make sure that before you grab your pen and bring it upwards in any upward motion after a downstroke, you wanna make sure that your nib closes and then you bring it up. Because if you just kind of swipe on through that threshold, it's gonna snag and cut the paper and damage your nib. So here's what I mean. So I'm gonna start at the A sender line with pressure and then at around seven o'clock I'm going to release that pressure. Once that pressure is all the way released I'm going to bring my pen up. Instead a lot of beginners will do where their pen is separated with pressure and then they just drag it up and cut the paper and see how this hairline is much thicker than that hairline? That's because I'm dragging a thread of paper up with me up in this um, hairline so it's making it thicker, but it's also damaging my nib. So make sure if you do get some uh, thread of paper caught in your nib, all you have to do is do these little downstrokes over and over and it will push it out. So, but make sure your technique is good. You're not rushing through this little threshold bowl area. And then same thing, you wanna make sure you're looking for consistency, a consistent angle, width and downstroke, width and threshold, release, bring it up. Pressure, release, bring it up. So it's really helpful to see it when I don't have ink. So I'm going to do that one more time. So pressure, release, let it close, and then bring it up. So when you do have ink, you don't cut the paper. Pressure, release, bring it up.
Remember, a little bit of scratch is okay. You just wanna make sure you're not getting that high-pitched scratch. And just like the ascending U shape, do this for two or three rows. So you can really practice that and start developing that muscle memory. Pressure, release, bring it up. So pressure, release. Pressure, release, and then bring it up. And we're looking for consistency. You don't want to overwhelm yourself with thinking about, you know, aiming for a consistent angle and consistent width, etc. right now if you're just learning. So focus on the techniques first and the more you practice, all of that stuff will get cleaned up. Okay, so once you've practiced that a few times, um, I mean, keep practicing it. It can be really addicting. You can just get mesmerized, mesmerized, whatever, and get in the flow and do this for pages and pages, which would be super helpful for you to develop that muscle memory. But maybe practice an O shape next so you can combine the ascending U shape or threshold with a descending threshold. Um, and once you build that O shape, we're gonna meet up with some future videos where I'm gonna show you how to write each letter and some words, some fancy words, etc. So stay tuned for those videos. And again, if you weren't working with me with the guide beneath you, the ebook beneath you, make sure you download and print that bad boy. There are letters, step-by-step -step letters in the ebook. So if you're just itching to start writing some letters, that ebook will be a perfect guide for you before we come out with those videos. But thank you so much for watching these videos. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you're notified whenever we come out with these new calligraphy fun videos or watercolor or whatever. Like these videos, like it, like it, like it, like it, like it. So I can know that you're enjoying what you're watching and comment below with what you're looking to use calligraphy for. So are you getting married and you wanna use it for your wedding invitations or a happy birthday card, whatever it might be, I wanna know. So comment below with what you're using calligraphy for and stay tuned for all our future videos. Thank you for watching. Perfect, killed it.